All right, so apparently they've been hiding this Josh Giddy situation. It apparently, it's starting to unravel. That's what investigations are for. Uh, and it's not looking good for not only him but OKC as a as a team. So I seen this come across my TL. I see uh, first Legend of Winnings tweet two years ago. So I'm like, whoa! I see a picture of Josh Giddy two years ago. I click. Josh Giddy's alleged encounter with an underage girl reportedly happened two years ago, and they apparently spent one night together, per NY Post. The Thunder Guard 21 is claimed to have believed the California teen he was pictured shirtless alongside in the pics leaked on social media was 19 when they met at a nightclub in 2021, according to sources who spoke to Australian site Code Sports. Now, I think that there's some BS in there, but the idea of it being 19 is interesting. So I did some more digging. I did some more deep diving and I have this right here. This is from the Herald Sun Aussie newsletter. Um, this is from Steve Thunderfan. This is the official Josh Giddy update. So Josh Giddy was 19 when his entire world was turned upside down. Giddy was in his rookie NBA season when he met a young woman in California who was believed uh, who he believed was also 19 at a club the alleged relationship did not last long now almost two years later the encounter is the subject of a newport beach police department and nba investigation after leaked social media pictures and video emerged of giddy with the then 15 year old so we're getting an age on her it was speculations about it being 15 in oklahoma or she was 17 or 16 in California, and these are the ages of consent and blah, 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 blah. We're getting ages all over the place. But now we're getting an age, uh, then 15, right? Somebody said she doesn't look 15, she looks 18. I don't know what, I don't know what we're seeing in the chat. This is crazy. All right, it's understood the girl lied about her age to gain access to a nightclub where she interacted with Giddy which has been confirmed via social media videos, the confirmation, the, the, the uh, talking to Josh Giddy. Multiple sources have confirmed it was a one night encounter and was ended the next day when Giddy was made aware she was in high school. All parties involved thought the situation had been dealt with until about two weeks ago when the 21 year old star was made aware that videos of photos of the pair together may soon be leaked online. Now, I will say this. They're talking about it was one day. I don't know. There was a lot of video that definitely depicted it is over the course of a span of time. Maybe people on the internet can't see what their ages are. Like they can't, you know, you have a hard time depicting the age. I think Buddy who recorded the club scene he might have been recording it was Josh Giddy. He might have just been recording that it was Josh Giddy. He might have also been in Newport Beach with an Oklahoma University hat. But I think that he was uh, recording because this looked like an extremely young girl. This looked like Josh Giddy. And this looked like he was up to something that he was not supposed to be up to. Now, does the club hold blame for allowing a minor to sneak into a club fake ID or not? Absolutely, 100%. I do not want to move this. I want to square this on not only Josh Giddy, but the Oklahoma City Thunder. I want to I wanna square this on Josh Giddy and the Oklahoma City Thunder. All right, next slide says, it's believed the girl in question and her family are feeling remorseful about the situation and the drama it has caused Giddy's career now that it's become public and a social media scandal. How the videos were leaked to social media and the motivation behind making them public are a part of the NBA's investigation and not believed to be related to the young woman or her family. It is understood a threat was made from an unknown person to derail Josh Giddy's career. Um, let's continue to go on. U.S. media has reported the girl's family is reluctant to cooperate with the police investigation, which California legal experts claim is a major obstacle in any prosecution for, um, grape. Stephen Sitkoff, a defense lawyer who previously prosecuted, um, 
checks crime cases. I'm not trying to get TOS here. And California said, you don't see a lot of filings where the gap or the age gap is narrow. Mr. Sitkoff suggested that made it unlikely charges will be laid given there were typically no witnesses in such a case. They're the only two who know if she's uncooperative, it's going to be difficult, he said. Uh, criminal defense lawyer Neil Schaus, a former prosecutor, said this could be successfully argued if the other person claimed and appeared to be over 18, carried a fake ID showing they were over 18, or was present in an adult venue like a bar or club. In short, if a reasonable person would have no reason to believe this minor was underage, the uh, grape charge should be dismissed, he said. Uh, Dimitri Gorin, another prosecutor turned defense, lo turned defense lawyer, similarly said such a good faith belief the alleged victim was over 18 was a valid defense to um, grape in the state. A state Supreme Court decision in 1964 set a precedent allowing the so-called mistake of age defense. So what this is telling us is that this has been known for a long time. What this is telling us is that this has been known for a long time. What this is also telling us is that not only will this not go anywhere because of you know, the 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 statutes that have already been set, um, but also the fact that she won't co cooperate in this will also make this not go too far. A lot of this will not go too far. So, you know, he 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 could have done it. But what's going to happen in this situation, I'm believing. Is that. Because she won't cooperate, because there's this statute already set, um, and because, you know, they can they can pull this defense out of their ass, nobody's willing to cooperate. And then, like they also said, these cases anyway are just hard to find out what's true and what's not true. It's a bunch of he say, she say. Only two people were there. It's not like somebody witnessed the situation go down. It's not like she has an eyewitness that would be willing to testify with her, even if she was willing to testify. Somebody that came in and said, hey, yeah, I did watch Josh um, be with Marissa, right? When Josh was with Marissa, she made it clear that she was underage. And then Josh uh, continued on. Yo, what's going on, Ghostface? Josh continued on. And then I saw them have sex as well, so I can confirm that they have sex. There's no witness like that. We saw R. Kelly get off, and he had way more evidence against him. He had a whole video. They played a whole video in court of R. Kelly, and nothing happened. <laughs> I do want to address um, Legend of Winning saying two years ago, so I'm supposed to believe that the teenage girl in question who was allegedly 16 or 17 now Allegedly met Josh getting in the club when she was 14 or 15 years old and he couldn't tell she wasn't a minor. Something isn't adding up. Uh, also, there's apparent, there are apparently records of him having multiple speeding violations in the same area that the victim lives, but I'm supposed to believe it was spent only one night. That's also something that needs to be added. He was uh, caught speeding in that same area multiple times. Multiple times. So I think that. Um, yeah, I, I think that what's going on in this situation is OKC knew that there was supposed to be something going on here, a possibility of something going on here. And we're just not moving forward on this. We're just not we're, we're not going to move forward on this. We're not going to handle it. We're going to ignore it. We're just going to say, fuck it. I don't know. I just find it strange how inconsistent these organizations are when handling different situations. Not saying that they should have, well, maybe, yeah, they should have blown up the spot. He should have been suspended. There should have been an investigation. It's, it's just about what they come out and lie and say where their morals are in this situation. I don't think that it was right for that young lady to uh, uh, 
deceive about her age. If that's the case, if that's how she got into the club. Uh, if she lied to Josh Giddy continuously about her age, I don't condone that action either. I doubt that that happened. I doubt that this was a one night thing, though. Uh, well, let me say, I, I'm not saying I doubt that, that happened. I, she she, she could have potentially lied for real. For real. I, I do believe that that happens. That happens all the time. But what I don't, you know, agree with is the idea of being tricked so easily. That's where it's strange. That's where that's where they lose me. That's where they lose me. They lose me with the idea that I got tricked so easily. And again, I believe that this happened over an extended period of time. I don't think that this happened one time. So, I don't know. The NBA is doing a decent job at covering stuff up from what I'm seeing right here. And as shit unravels more and more and more, I think that this guy, Josh Giddy, is going to really have to answer some tough questions.